So to get started, I thought I would share a little bit about my background as an artist. In the very beginning, when I was little, I always loved fashion as well as painting and drawing. It was what I did in my spare time when others were playing games and sport. I even convinced my parents to send me to weekend art classes at nine years old. As I got older, I knew art would be a really big part of my life, but it was a different time back then. Technology wasn't what it is today. It was very hard to have a career in art without being discovered by an art gallery. It simply wasn't yet possible to pick yourself as a fashion illustrator or a contemporary artist. But I knew I wanted to do something creative, so I decided to study graphic design. I did this for two years before moving overseas to spend a year in London. During this time, I actually landed a job as a graphic designer and just learned the rest of my degree in the real world on the job. I never actually wore the cap and gown and I have no regrets about it. Then whilst working as a designer for a magazine, I ended up illustrating a piece for a fashion article. And from the little credit next to my illustration, I was contacted by a new fashion label at the time called Topshop about illustrating their fashion windows. I remember hand delivering the work wrapped in plastic on a rainy London day. And it would be just a few months later that the whole world would open up to freelance artists with the sudden possibility of emailing a scanned attachment. Yes, before this, it just wasn't possible. From here, I found myself working with Vogue Australia, Marie Claire Hong Kong, all from my living room in London. I then decided to spend an entire year saving up enough money so that I could drop down to part-time in graphic design. I now had two days out of my week to focus on art and illustration. I didn't completely quit my day job until I knew that there really was a market for my work as an illustrator. With this newfound time and focus on art and illustration, corporate jobs with brands like Louis Vuitton, Longcom and Kate Spade began. I also focused on original art for exhibitions too and held my first ever solo show in Paris at Le Maurice Hotel in 2012. It was after about two years of working as a part-time designer that I was able to focus full-time on art and illustration. More collaborations with my dream clients came in from here, working with Plaza Athene Hotel in Paris, the Ritz Hotel in London, and even creating my own hotel suite at the Langham in Melbourne, as well as my own champagne for Laurent Perrier Champagne. I also opened up my own e-commerce store of art prints and phone cases using software that simply didn't exist five years earlier. During those years starting out, I never would have dreamed that a career in art could lead me to travel all over the world, as well as work from my own office space where I could design my own work week. I honestly think that freedom and time are my most precious commodities, and that creating my best life is about financial independence, but it's also about having enough time in my week to sometimes actually stop and enjoy it. There is no better time in history to create a meaningful side hustle or full-time business from your creative art. It's time to pick yourself. I hope this course changes your life, your mindset, and how you value your time and worth as an artist. So get excited and I'll see you in the next lesson.